all right folks so what is going on today we're going to be talking about the new structure deck Zomb uh, the zombie world structure deck that came uh no, no that didn't come out but some cards got released and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen lithium's video and i know you're excited as i am because man these cards are amazing so let's go ahead and get into it i know uh, originally when they first announced this you guys told me to talk about it so we're going to be doing that this was supposed to go up way earlier um you guys know my schedule it's usually seven o'clock in the morning um but i wasn't able to record it last night so here we go today so to start off with we're going to talk about the cover card a little bit it's a level seven synchro so hopefully and my thought is that we get a one star tuner um and or you know I, I would prefer it to be one star one or two star tuner and then it'd be something like Destrudo, where you know if you control a zombie you can special summon it from your hand or graveyard um and then increase the level up to the number of zombies you control so then it gives us that level manipulation so we can either go to a seven or eight or we can just keep it at a one and go to a, a five star if we control a four or you know we can just you know no we can or yeah you know you guys get what i'm saying uh if, if it's a one star we can go to a level six we can go to a level seven or we can go to a level five which i think that would be really really beneficial and i, I really would like that but you know we're just hoping so anyways let's get into these busted cards all right so level eight dark zombie um once uh you only use the second effect of this with this card's name once per turn uh, when the effect of a zombie monster not named spirit king is activated quick effect you can choose and apply one of these effects but the spirit but the, the effects you choose cannot be activated again for the rest of the turn uh, one is negate that effect and then two is i mean the second one is banish one monster from either player's field or graveyard and then the two uh, during the standby phase if a face-up card is in a field zone you could just special summon it from your graveyard and defense so as you can guys can already tell this card is very easy to summon and it has two good effects so basically we get to negate a card so if we're playing against uh ash blossoms we can negate ash blossom because it is a zombie um and then we also can banish a card from the field or graveyard and it doesn't target so that is beautiful and you guys can already get my rating for this and that's a hot 10 hot 10 i'm talking about a steaming 10 great love it easy to summon when i first seen it, i was like ah shit it's a level eight how are we gonna summon it red's the second effect oh my god so easy to fucking summon it's crazy i'm sorry for cussing but this is good this is good support this is the shit i like to see um we can definitely throw this in some vendreds uh because you can you know run trade-ins and stuff like that with executor my god just imagine getting this and executor on the board now we can e no we can't evolution for free uh, I, I keep thinking uh, no but this card is great 10 out of 10 love it great man can't even like complain that it's level eight this card is just amazing this is a boss monster for zombies this is great great and then it definitely works with zombie world that's that's what's super beautiful about it um the second card which is level four zombie um you can uh when it's on the field you your opponent i mean no no it just can't be targeted period okay not even by your opponent or destroyed by card effects and then the second effect is uh you can banish this card from your field or your graveyard face up and activate a zombie world from your deck or hand um i like it i like it i like the graveyard effect that is something that is just so wild that they actually gave us they actually gave us something that searches the zombie world oh my like do you understand like the floodgates are now open folks the floodgates are now open konami see look this is why i like the ocg when they make stuff because they give us the shit we want and what we need we've been needed a zombie world searcher and we got one and it's better than it's probably the best field spell searcher of all of them i'm not even sure but i'm pretty sure it's the best one there's i don't think there's another one you could just activate from your fuck like activate from your graveyard just like during your opponent's turn just activate a zombie world like that's busted that is super good i, I mean i i can't even hate uh you know what i, I just wish that it said because nobody's gonna do it from the field i don't even think that's even like why would you even do that because it's gonna go to the graveyard so <laughs> what does it matter um only thing i wish is that instead of field it said hand and then that would have been way out of oh my jesus that would have been busted um but yeah i like the card too i would say an eight out of ten if it said hand it would have been a ten out of ten um because it, like i said you're not going to really leave this card on the field because you want the graveyard effect which is pretty good and i don't think you can really stop the graveyard effect so yeah because you can't ash this yeah so that's good and then the change of heart which i'm pretty everybody already seen I'm just going to go over it for the people who haven't seen it if a level five or higher zombie is on the field you can basically take control of the opponent's monster excuse me into the end phase in the second one if it's in your graveyard you can shuffle the zombie back to your deck 
that is banished and if you do uh, set this card banish it when it leaves the field I mean what else can we say that is just great you clearly can just throw this at least one or two I would say I would probably keep it at one because it could recur itself but you know me I, I like to push it more than one but man this is perfect like I, I mean you gotta change your heart for free that's pretty cool man I, I, I would say that I, I like I like where this is going I really like this going. I hope the level seven is busted. Since I'm, I'm seeing change of heart and negation, I'm guessing the level seven synchro has something to do with that because it's going off the old red eyes. So I'm guessing it's something like that. Um, hopefully it's something like that. That'll just be busted. Um, I don't, I mean, like I said, hopefully we get another tuner that makes it easier to summon because Unizombie is not, I mean, there's not really too many level threes that you can just run to special summon itself. I mean, uh, what's the name is a level three hound horde is level three spirit reaper. Um, there's a couple level threes, but none that I believe special some of their shows. So it might be a little difficult to bring a level seven out, but Hey, I can't complain. These first three cards are like this would sell me on. I would literally pre-order three of these immediately if I could, but we don't know when it's coming out here. So yeah. All right. So now on to some disappointing news. So if you guys did not understand, I love this support. I really do. There's nothing really, I would say that they did wrong um i just wish the four was in in hand but it doesn't really matter it's still great so <laughs> it's like oh, i wish i didn't have a pickle like who cares <laughs> it's like um so on to the disappointing news which is probably going to be the worst set um wait what is this one nope this is no this is under the world where, wait what where, what's going on here no what i wanted to talk about is uh the worst set the worst set in which is cybernetic horizon so while we um we have to, I, this, my computer is not this slow it's just whenever i start recording it just starts slowing the fuck down for some reason um but yeah man this is just what happens when my, this is why i need a better laptop man if you like i said man if you guys have any suggestions on laptops please let me know because you can see i, I definitely need a new one all right so now about the worst set of the year so i mean the worst set so far uh, yeah, man, these things, right? This set right here is just like what's the chase? The only good card in here, I would say, the only card that is worth, I guess, buying a box for, which is sixty-five, sixty dollars, um, is Boral Sword. That's the only thing I guarantee. I'm pretty sure. Not, I don't even care if you're playing Cyber Dragons or if you want to build Dangers. If you pull any of these sets, a, a set of any of these, you're going to be upset. You're not going to feel like you have a good box. The only way this box becomes any type of relevant is if uh, dangers really take off, which, you know, I they, they do have a chance to do that because they don't need other cards. And when you have a deck like that or doesn't need any other interaction with any other cards to go off, it's a pretty good deck. Um, I don't want to compare it to Zoo, but Zoo literally just needs any Zoo monster. They didn't need... They didn't need any other cards like they you can make a pure zoo deck and it's competitive it's good you didn't need to uh use a spell card to get to anything you didn't need to have these four seven card combos dangers literally activate on themselves so they can trigger their effects by themselves they can trigger other effects by their like they can literally special summon themselves from the like they, they do all of that so dangers are dark horse candidate to be a good deck but if the slight chance that they're not that good this set is terrible, man. Um, pinpoint landing. Uh, once per turn, if you special something from your hand, you can draw a card. Um, okay. That's just clearly for dangers. Um, but why would you play this over Light of Seca? I have no clue. Um, Light of Seca is easily just easily the, the way to go with dangers. Uh, Sears Bank Book, which I'm guessing is the card that banishes three. And then during your next turn, you can just add all three back. I mean, during the third turn, you can add all three back. There's not a lot of duels going past three turns, but this is good support for, I guess, True Dracos. This is good support for Paleo, so maybe that might be a problem. But I don't think this is going to be more than like a $20 secret. Celestial Sextant, I think that's the only secret besides Boral Sword that can literally go to the $50, $60 range. And that's if a six-star deck is good. But as of right now, I don't know. Um... That's, I mean, hey, I don't know. So I'm not even going to do that. And I believe it's once per turn. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is okay. But like I said, man, these, these, and then this, you get a Cyber Dragon, like a Monster Reborn as a damn secret. 
why does like come on and then the mech knight guy like how, like nobody's playing mech knights there's no reason for that like i said the only thing i would see in here is boar sword and then they do have some good stuff like i, I believe the dragoonity knight should have been a secret over the mech knight because i just really feel this first of all this will look terrific as a secret this should be a fucking ultra um everything else I, i'm not even sure <laughs> like, everything else is just ah uh, i mean I, I i don't understand but um i know that there's a demise card that's a secret so this is kind of weird one two three four five six seven eight yeah the demise card is a secret i've seen that somewhere that card is a secret or is it a rare if it's a rare that's terrible that definitely should have been a secret over like this rev system but anyways you guys let me know you guys thoughts on this because this I, i'm not sure this doesn't look like a good set um for some reason they keep shafting us on giving us any other good link they gave us a fucking gladiator beast one that should have been a common in the first set that ever even got like it, they should have went back in time and reversed and printed this card and gave it to us like six sets ago that it's just why you wait this oh my god it's, I, you know i'm not going to get into it but you guys let me know you guys thoughts on this set I, I don't think it's a good set like i said danger is the only way to make this set good and if dangers aren't good or dangers are not taken off you can see a good 55 dollars box i wouldn't advise spending any type of money on this unless you trade him for it uh, unless you literally really want dangers i wouldn't i wouldn't even try it but i i might get a boxing recorder for you guys and that's because i want to record it for you guys but besides that it is ah you 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 will find me very hard pressed to be buying more than probably one box and basically i would only spend store credit on this i would not spend actual cash but for you guys i will dole out that stuff so the last thing i want to talk about is the is, is the sherry newies that aren't sherry news um and you guys can already tell how i feel about these not being shit like this this come on they're they're fire zombies just give us the damn sherry new cards oh it's so pissed off anyway so let's get into the effect um you can only uh, the level two uh fire zombie tuner um you can only control one uh one um also when a makashi monster is special summoned from the extra deck to your side of the field while this card is your graveyard you can special summon it uh, but you cannot special summon a monster from the extra deck to turn your activates except my akashi monsters and um i'm guessing this would just get better with time but as of right now we only have two extra decks so is it worth it and then think about it like the only extra deck we technically can summon in any zombie deck is the level nine but how many times are you going to a level nine first turn not that much um yeah we'll, we'll get to this at the end uh the third uh, the second one which is a level three herb zombie um this card is normal or special summon you can target uh a my akashi monster in your graveyard except itself and special summon a monster in defense but it's negated and then um you can't special summon monsters from extra deck except my akashi monsters um and then the synchro uh you can only control one and then if it's if a synchro you control whose original level is 11 uh it's only 11 not even higher there's only 11 it's destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effect while this card is in your graveyard you could banish one other zombie monster from your graveyard and special summon this card and then if it's special summon you can destroy one monster your opponent controls and then the zombie link requires two mayakashi monsters and you only can control one and then if it points to a synchro monster your opponent cannot target this card for an attack and then if a synchro monster is destroyed um you can target one faced up monster on the field and have the attack until the end of the turn um the normal spell is a rota for any mikashi monsters uh, basically an ov raptor that's a better way to put it and then the trap card um to restrict you from your extra deck except for my akashis um it would turn you activated and then you can discard one card and target one that is banished or your game or special summon it and your opponent cannot target with effects during his turn so yeah don't understand why it's not shiri nui support i guess they're going a different way i guess that's it for the shiri nui support as of right now um i feel like this would have been a lot better as shiri nui support um but like i said i'm gonna give it a chance because as you clearly seen that since this says 11 that means that when you go to this so that means we're going to get a level seven monster or a monster that special summons in your hand so do you go go into this and then this special summon then you sync these two off for a level 11 
and then I guess the level 11 would have some type of good effect. But uh, first glance at this, okay. Um, I don't know why it restricts you from the extra deck so much, but um, I, I guess I would see why because they all have recursion and they're zombies, so we have to have some type of restriction on it. But I mean, I, I just have to wait. That's, that's the best way I can put it. Um, the trap card is, I, I like the trap card. I do like the trap card. Um, the fact that it, could, it doesn't target, and then you can. Uh, wait, no, it does target. Uh, I thought it didn't target because it didn't shoot. I mean, it's in graveyard or banish, but you can pretty much special summon a banished monster. So that's cool. That's cool. I mean, we did need something like that. Um, and then the OV Raptor, which is cool. I, I, I can't. I, we get like just just picture all this stuff that just basically she had sure he knew. He's like, we would have been lit. We would have been. Fantastic. Just take a sure new monster out of your hand or the graveyard. That would have been busted. Um, but yeah, man, this is the only thing uh, that's only my real gripe with this because I can't really give you guys my full opinions because this is not all the stuff. Um, I guess I will hold off on the link monsters. I mean, not the, but the extra deck monsters because I cl we're clearly getting another one. So I guess we'll talk about these two. The two star tuner is fine. Uh, the three star is pretty good because it's when it's special or normal. So that means you can Mizuki it back. We can special summon from the hand, we can special summon from the banish, and it'll trigger and keeps triggering. Um, it special summons in the fence for some odd reason, but you guys already know. So we could just basically go into that. This is a weird link. I was, you know what? Let's talk about the link because this this link is weird. Um, it only if only if it points to a synchro monster that you can't like. That's that's a little weird, man. I like I you know what? I'm not even gonna do this because. I'm just getting more upset the more I look at these things because I don't know what else we're getting and I feel like we're going to get that chimera support you know just random dumb shit <laughs> but yeah anyways uh, that is it for today so thank you for watching I hope you guys did enjoy uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this so this is uh yeah man we, we uh, talked about a lot of things today if you guys do like this I would do these probably like once a month um, or something like that whenever some new stuff come out or you know we'll talk about it but anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy it i'm um, sorry for the late video it was supposed to go out earlier but hey i got it to you earlier and then uh tomorrow we're going to be definitely jumping in with some um some of these things because ooh, am i excited anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys want to help the channel out links are down in the description below or you guys can click an ad if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on all the support and all the stuff I talked about. Besides that, that is it for today. See you guys tomorrow.